Next, our joy choy. And look at these beautiful blossoms. These are snacks. Mm. A little bit tangier than the broccoli. The broccoli is a little sweeter, but still delicious. What I want to show you here is what we call an inchworm. This is a cabbage looper. And as you can see, he's eating a great big hole in my uh, joy choy. And they just kind of hunch up and move along. But um, that's the enemy right there. So like I was saying, if you're starting to get a bunch of these, then you want to spray your BT twice a week so that you can get these guys under control. So I'm going to feed that one to my turkeys because it comes with extra protein today. Oh, they'll be so excited. You should see them. They'll get a worm and they'll run in the pen and the others will chase them. It's, it's the best entertainment and it's totally free. Okay, I'm going to save that guy. All right. So the rest of this I'm going to harvest. Now, if you want to harvest your flowers, you can harvest them separately. And then you can throw them like into a stir fry. You put them in just at the last minute. You want to throw those in and eat them. Um, or you can just snack on them while you're out here in the garden because they're pretty delicious. I'm thinking next week we'll go ahead and pull the joy choy out. And then I'm just going to mulch this section. And then when we get back, I think I'll plant, I think I'll plant some more joy choy because this is my favorite breakfast food. Or the other choice is, this might be a wise choice, is to go ahead and start some seeds in a little tray. And I can keep those in the house and get them started. And then we could transplant out into the garden as opposed to putting in seed. And that would get us a couple weeks ahead and I think the gal that's going to come and take care of my garden, she could easily water just a little tray of Joy Choice seeds. So if I can remember, I will go plant some today in preparation to know that in two weeks, two, three weeks, we're going to go ahead and pull these out. Let's see. It's going to be three weeks, isn't it? Because this is the 18th week, and it'll be the 21st week when we get back. I think we'll plant the Joy Choice seeds next week because I think I only want them two weeks old when I transplant them. So that requires paper. I'm going to have to write myself a note. So I remember to plant that next week. Okay. Look at this great harvest. Week after week after week. Beautiful, beautiful plants. They take care of me and I take care of them. It's a nice relationship. All right, here is our joy choy for the week. There's probably a pound and a half there. This stuff is really heavy. Now, if you're getting too much, go ahead and blanch it or go ahead and stir fry it just slightly so it turns bright green and then cool it down, throw it in a bag, throw it in the freezer so you have it in the off season. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and harvest some of these flowers. And this can go into my stir fry just right at the last minute you want to put these in just kind of almost as a garnish. Um, and the other thing that I want to tell you about is these leaves that are coming on the flower stalk. These, they're smaller, but they're totally edible. So you can harvest all the way up the stalk. Um, unlike lettuce that gets really bitter, uh, these leaves don't get bitter as they flower, so you'll be just fine. Okay, so that'll be just a tasty treat that we put in at the last minute in our stir fry this week. Okay, BT for that, because we've already seen the cabbage loopers, I said twice a week if they're getting out of control on you. Okay, and then we're gonna come down here, we're gonna get the Swiss chard, 